Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Cup of Chai, after a very long time. Today is July 14th, 2020, and I'm here with Awesome and NS. Uh, welcome guys. Hi Jonah. Hi Jonah. Hi, um, yeah, it's been a long time. You, you guys want to explain yeah. what happened to our viewers? Uh, not to us actually. <laughs> we had a lot of uh, projects to do, uh, and then there were finals towards the end. And then I guess we lost the hang of uh, recording and meeting uh, within the time of quarantine. And then that's why we had a long break. We tried to meet up. Uh, we tried a couple times actually, like for the past two weeks, but we can arrange our times. Then I guess now, thankfully, uh, we're back together again. And I hope we'll be recording weekly after this. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, so Enes, what are you going to talk to us about today? Today I'm going to talk about TikTok. Uh, as you guys okay. know, TikTok is one of the famous apps that a lot of American teens and a lot of elders, especially in this quarantine time, started using. Uh, because of quarantine, people got bored and wanted to watch silly videos. I would name them like that because I'm, I used to use TikTok, but then I realized it's just a waste of time. So I erased it from my phone. And now uh, the American government is talking to ban TikTok. We will be talking if they would be able to do this. Why should they do such a thing? Why they would think such a thing is needed or not? And alongside, it's not that they're only banning TikTok, but they're trying to ban every single Chinese application out there to the reach of uh, the American public so that the Chinese government cannot steal from the Americans uh, their data. Okay. Enes, if I'm not wrong, uh, Amazon also sent a memo to their uh, workers to delete TikTok app. Is that true? Or do you know more about it? Yes, it is true. But then they apologized and said that it was a mistake. I don't know what was going on in their head. But and then uh, I guess it backlash and they just went back and said they were sorry and that there's nothing as such. So Amazon workers, if you're an Amazon worker, you can still use TikTok on uh, your phone like you can download the app and use it but the american military banned all its military personnel to download tiktok to any uh, military issued devices and still concerns of data breaches that's for the government and uh this tiktok trend came actually after india banned first after a, a backlash a little border friction with china so they banned tiktok for that reason then America uh, have started to say the thing that the TikTok is giving the data of the American public to Chinese government. They want to ban TikTok and any sort of Chinese application. But within these allegations, TikTok said that they have nothing to do uh, with China, even though they're owned by a Beijing-based tech company. They have a different app in China and uh, another app for the whole world itself. Uh, and for the Americans concerned, they say that their data centers are actually in America, so they're not obligated to give any data to the Chinese government. And their backups are in Singapore, so they're denying any allegation that they would give any sort of data to the Chinese. Are there any other countries that are planning to ban TikTok, or is it just India and America? Well, India already did it, but... India already did it. America thinks of Austria is thinking of, and I think I've uh, I've read that the British government is uh, willing to ban some Chinese companies, as America tried to do once uh, about Huawei, and I've heard that if they actually go through with that, England might have a two-day blackout of phone communication because all the Huawei towers that are installed in uh, England. So that's something. Crazy, I suppose if they go through it, no one in a lot of people actually in uh, England won't be able to communicate through their uh, uh, phones. So, Ennis, uh, what's your opinion on this matter? Like, uh, are you happy that TikTok uh, is now closing down? Are you do you think this is uh, absurd or what? The thing that I would indicate first is I don't think anyone could ban any application because over the internet, even America bans it, some other uh, countries will have it. And the other thing is America will be able to ban us from downloading TikTok, but not using it. 
uh, that's something else uh, in the American law. And also we can take some other countries, for example, who ban different social media and planning to ban uh, all social media contents as Turkey, uh, which is hilarious. Like in the past, they banned social media applications, but people didn't mind it. Why? Because they use VPN. Like they seem to use their uh, social media apps from other countries. So now it's like you can buy- bypass every single ban uh, if something through the internet. If the government doesn't implement any harsh laws to prevent people from using such applications, like people, they got used to it. And I, as I say, because people you got bored in the corona time and tiktok has yeah some funny videos i think they're silly i would think they should be banned for the human race for the uh, goodness of our minds but that's some my uh, personal opinion it's still such a waste of time uh, but people have different opinions uh, everyone can act upon their own and that's why i don't think it would work for any uh, reason but it'll only be political for america if they want to ban tiktok they'll just be continuing the fight that they have uh, against china so how about you austin that... do you use tiktok are you happy are you sad no i've never used tiktok but i saw some videos on social media um i don't think it's honestly it's gonna work but honestly I, yeah i'm glad like <laughs> I think TikTok brought a death to comedy. Um, I keep my friends keep sending me these TikToks, and I don't know if it's uh, my sense of humor that's different, but most of the things on there I just don't find funny. And I know people that that spend not spend that waste more than two hours a day on TikTok, and I think that's really sad. That is, that is actually, and uh, that's one of the things actually in technology, I guess I do not remember who introduced this, but there's the unlimited scroll. Before, if you guys realized like four or five years ago, like if I would speak from Instagram, when you scroll down, you should have clicked the button so you can scroll more, right? Now there's no such a thing. You scroll And then you scroll, you continue to scroll, and you do not realize how much time you spend. And that's actually a tactic from the application so that they can keep you intact with the app and you can use the app more and more. That's something uh, that we need to be aware of and use our time wisely if we're on such applications. This is now on Twitter, like every single social media application. You, If you start scrolling, it's never end. So it will just go on and on and on for the reason to keep us users uh, using the application. And also some other thing about Instagram is I heard some Instagram rumors hate TikTokers. Why? Because there's a lot of TikToks going in Instagrams and within the Instagram stories and Instagram users don't like it, I guess. I don't know why, but yeah, that's something uh, else about TikTok and Instagram. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was nice uh, talking about those opinions. I hope our listeners would find them inside as well. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so awesome. Yeah. What will you be talking to us about today? I want to talk about MBA's restart in Orlando. Um, okay. So MBA is returning on July 30th with 22 teams. Games will be played at Disney Sports Complex in Orlando. It will be like a bubble. Players will not be able to go out of the bubble and come back. If it's not a necessity, they have to go some procedures. Uh, they need permission from NBA. And when they come back, they have to quarantine for, I think, 14 days with some extreme testing. You know, there, there's a stick that goes into your uh, nose yeah, deep yeah, yeah. down. And they have to do that, I think, two times a day. Wow. Uh, I, but... I heard that really hurts. And that's why some people are really scared to even do the corona testing. Yeah, uh, the players do daily tests, but it, uh-huh. it's really... I, I saw some videos. Uh, they put something in their mouth and in their nose, but not like deep down. Oh, so okay. normal testing is easy, no problem. But for the extreme situations, it's really hard. And... Um, some players declared they will go out of the bubble for the birth of their child 
and I think that's completely understandable. Definitely. All of them said there's more important things in life than ba- just basketball, and I saw no negative comments about it, and I think that can't be. So, as I said, it's going to be bubble. It's, it will be very different, unorthodox. Some teams will benefit from this situation, and some teams will suffer. I personally think the teams play in harmony with each other, like uh, more more of a passing team will suffer because it's been a long time and getting used back to each other uh, their routine it takes time. To give an example, Boston and Miami, these teams play beautiful basketball, but unfortunately, it may not convert into winning as much as it would in the normal season. As if season proceeded as normal. So awesome! You said. Uh, there's a very closed bubble, right? Very restricted. Um, obviously, yeah. there are no audience, none. Um, how about like uh, their close ones, like the players' as family members? I don't know, coaches, referees. Are there any? What are the restrictions on non-players other than the audiences? Okay, so um, until the end of the first round for the NBA playoffs, you know, sixteen teams will be in playoffs and after first round eight of them will be eliminated so they will clear out their rooms and then the families of the remaining teams can stay with the players um i think until the 45 day of bubble there will be no one coming in but after the teams that lost leave the bubble the families of the winning teams can come and then stay and I think it's really nice because, you know, uh, the bubble will last for 90 days maximum. And leaving your family for that much is a very long and time. And they're also These... going to be yeah. tested just as, like, the players, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, of course, the families will not be allowed to go into practices. They can, they will be able to go to matches. And also, there's a funny thing. Uh Let's say the Boston and Miami plays a game and you're a Houston Rockets player and you don't have a game that, during that time, you can go watch. You will be like sitting separated from people. But it's really funny. It, it has never been done before, you know. Mm. You can watch other teams and I think it's really cool. I, I would love to be there. Um, as I said, problem. some will be... Excuse me, Anis. That will probably be fun, I say. Like, all the players watching each other make comments, I guess, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, you know, the other thing is we will be able to hear these players. NBA is planning on playing the game because if there's a very inappropriate words, they want to just censor them. But I think we will hear a lot of them <laughs> talking trash to each other. And I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, as I said... Yeah, as I said, some teams will benefit. Uh, to give an example to them, Clippers, Houston, and in the East, Sixers. Because these play, these teams like play in pieces, not as a whole. And their star players are their centers. For example, Houston, everything comes down to what Harden and Westbrook does. If they can do their thing, I think they have a really high chance to win the title. I don't think they will, but their chances are higher than before. And last but not least, uh, last Friday, NBA released the schedule, and we will see the Lakers-Clippers game on the first day. It's the most anticipated matchup around the league for this season. So have your popcorns ready. And also, there's a thing... NBA will allow players to replace the last name on their jersey with a statement on social justice, according to Shams Karina. A um, lot of players said they will put some uh, social justice messages on their back, but like Anton Davis and LeBron James, you know, Lakers stars and NBA is one of the biggest stars, they said uh, it doesn't mean much and they will wear, wear their own names on the back of their jerseys and also let me give some key dates the playoffs will begin at august 17 this conference semifinals will begin at august 31st 
conference finals will start at September 15th. The finals are going to start on September 13th. And if if it happens, Game 7 for the finals will be on October 12th. So that's the last day of NBA. And also, you know, as I said, it's a very unorthodox situation. And these players will live in a bubble. If you really wonder how the life in the bubble looks, you can follow Mattis Tybul. Uh, he's a Phillies rookie. He's a really good defender for his age. And he posts vlogs named Welcome to Bubble. There are some other YouTube channels that, uh, you know, make compilations from players' social medias, posts, stories. But Messi's is the most organized and, you know, the video quality is also very high. I highly... I highly recommend to you to follow him. Uh, I really enjoyed the first two episodes, and I'm looking forward to upcoming episodes. That's all, Yunus. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, again, I know it's been a very long time, but hopefully we'll be continuing weekly again. So tune yeah. in and don't miss us. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy. Have a good one. Cup of Chai is a podcast series that aims to provide insight and knowledge to those interested. This podcast will consist of weekly meetings with experts in their fields. As volunteer university students, we continue to present current and educational topics that will be of interest to the environment and the community you are in. We aim to release better quality episodes with your support and feedback. We hope that you enjoy and stick around.